771 words today. I had spent all day thinking I was doing bad, and now that I look at it, I don't think I was doing bad. I wrote 172 on five poems. Four for my book, wasn't really feeling the Twitter prompts. I was really tired this morning. And I was just, I could barely do anything. Um, I felt really tired. I decided to try anyways. Realized how energyless I felt. Kept trying anyways. The headphones made my ears hurt, so I had to quit watching and listening to YouTube videos music, which were helping me stay awake. And then my eyes started hurting. It's like everything was trying to get me to just stop. So it was, it was annoying. So I guess lunch was my break, and after lunch, I felt fine, got back to it. So, well, not exactly. See, I was so uninspired as to what kind of poems to write about. Inspirational, obviously, but I mean, you needed to know. I need some inspiration. Oops. Yeah. So, I tried asking people I know, asking people on the internet. I got some good responses, but not as many as I needed, and I'm really thankful for the responses I got, but again, it more. So I decided to ask my characters. So 599 words on a character chat room script. Character chat room. I actually have a blog post about it first linked in the description is but I'll explain a little bit here too. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you took every character from all of your one hundred stories and put them in one room together with yourself? You probably haven't. But for some reason I did. So one day when I was really bored and uninspired, but I wanted to write and I had no idea what to write, I decided to ask the characters. I put them all in a room together, wrote it all script style, and have me there, first me in a room asking them, by the way, don't ask your characters what to write about. You're also egotistical. It's all me, 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 me. Where's that story you promised about me? And I have an idea where I go and do this. And they were no help whatsoever. But... Later when I was bored, I went back to that and decided to play a little bit of a game, or like a truth or dare like a game, and then I, <laughs> it was fun, so I just kept back, went back to doing it, like, I wanted, I had this new character that I had nothing to do with right now because I was working on other stuff, so rather than try to vote this whole big like, scene, I can't even think of getting good stories for them, I put them in a character chat room, now I have a whole chat room for in introducing new characters. And so, so yeah, I decided to ask them what was inspiring, what inspired them, and a few were actually helpful. Like, uh, one was inspired by people helping other people, which made me think, remember a Twitter account called Faith in Humanity? So I went looking at some of the stories there, and one of the stories there I made in a poem about. So I have a poem about a real inspiring story now. I, sh I really like that that was like based on a real story. The poem needs work. I feel like I need a little more information there. It was just four lines. I really could say more. Because it's, it's deserving of a longer, better poem. This story is about... What's the name? Let me check real quick. They call him Diado Dobri. D Y A D O D O B R Y. In case I mumbled that and it was hard to understand, because I do that sometimes. Uh, yeah, he's old, a retired soldier. It was like, Brinder Death and. 
walked, I don't remember how far, like a few miles from his home, I think is what it was, every day to beg on the streets for money. And he didn't keep any of it, he gave it all away to orphanages that couldn't pay their bills. So, still making sacrifices for the people of his country. Really amazing. He, he deserves a really good poem. So, I gotta really work on that one better. Um, and a lot of my characters weren't helpful at all. So, one was still egotistical and said himself. So, yeah. Um, the character chat room is really fun, and I don't know what to write. I just like to go there. If I don't feel like writing what I'm supposed to, but to keep me writing instead of just, if I just stop writing that that's bad, it's harder to get back into the flow the way you had it, and if you write something that's really fun, you keep your writing flow while also getting a break, so. And anything is completely chaotic, I find fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna say so. Dang it, I just did! Oh yes. Changing the subject. That's what else I had to tell you. I'm thinking of starting another series. Uh, starting. So there was nothing wrong with that sentence. I don't know why I was gonna restart it. Okay. Another series on this YouTube channel, Writer Rants. I ramble and rant about writing all the time. So here I ramble. There I can rant about a specific thing. So that'll be fun. I'll have to come up with a few ideas about what specific thing. Oh my gosh. This has gone on for seven minutes. I've probably sat here going so way too many times. So, I'm done. This is Peace, Love, Pink, signing out. Sorry for wasting your time.